Like so many Pakistani boys, five-year-old Ahmad likes nothing better than playing cricket with his father. The youngest of eight children, Ahmad and his family walked more than 60 kilometers to escape military strikes in their hometown in North Waziristan. Leaving everything behind, they now live in a local government-owned school in Banu, a neighboring province. Soon after he arrived in Banu, Ahmad started vomiting and suffered a severe case of diarrhea, which left him hospitalized, says his father, Taj Ali Khan. Many other children of IDPs or internally displaced people like Ahmad are facing risks to their health due to unsanitary conditions in crowded camps. Due to sensitivities around privacy, especially for women, most IDPs are choosing to live in schools that are not equipped to deal with such an influx of people. A lack of clean water and sanitation facilities means more IDPs are likely to suffer from diseases that can spread very quickly. To address these basic health issues, UNICEF and the World Health Organization, together with local partners, have implemented a project called WASH, or Water and Sanitation Hygiene. In places with a high concentration of IDPs, new water tanks and motor pumps are being installed to provide safe water for drinking and bathing. IDPs are also provided with solid waste management bins. To further help IDPs, each family receives their own hygiene kit, which includes towels, toothbrushes and soap. Distribution of these non-food items, or NFIs, are followed by briefing sessions, says WASH coordinator Zaki Ula. They take the, uh, the, the, the session with females and with the males and try to reinstate the message each time they come, come here and they also try to witness their practices. And so with the passage of time, it takes some time to, to, to bring them to the uh, to, to speed. Ornamental plants are destroyed, very beautiful lands are uh, destroyed. Principal Mohammed Kazim says he never thought his classrooms would become temporary shelters. And the impact of housing over 175 adults has been quite challenging. They belong with the periphery and far-flung areas. They don't know the etiquettes of uh, government institution, how to use that in the right way. We provide them all facilities. Uh, uh, the washrooms are properly washed uh, uh, by the UNICEF uh, within a few days. And it's not only schools that are bearing the burden, but also host communities accommodating IDPs. This is putting a major strain on existing infrastructure, such as water and electricity. WHO staff also provide education sessions and test water quality in certain communities and water points throughout Banu. Back in the makeshift shelter, Taj Ali Khan says he's grateful his family is able to access clean water and he's hopeful that Ahmad will now remain healthy for as long as they remain here. This report was produced by Almina Ahmed for the United Nations.